Right, here's a problem I've been tearing my hair out for the last couple of days. Uh, when I formatted my PC, it's a full clean install of Windows 10. Um, and once I had that all reinstalled, I installed um, a couple of games. The first one to install was Virtual Pool 4, which um, is up and running, as you can see. And then I installed XSplit Gamecaster, which I used to um, do the uh, live streaming. And I use the annotations while I'm live streaming Virtual Pool 4, which allows me to put uh, my little arrows on the screen, my little doodles as I call them. Um, and I'll show you what I mean, that sort of thing. So when somebody's playing a shot, I like to use the arrows to explain a shot. And it wouldn't work on, on my live stream I did on Friday. And then something that I hadn't had to, I hadn't any reason to use this on Friday uh, is the space bar. But when I had XSplit Gamecaster running, uh, when I was in the chat lobby in Virtual Pool 4, I was typing something in the chat like this and I couldn't get the space bar to work on my keyboard. So, of course, you then start scratching your head thinking that the keyboard's faulty or the keyboard's not configured to the UK settings. So I did all of that stuff. And finally, last night, I disconnected the keyboard, put my old keyboard in and had the same problem. So at this time, I still hadn't connected the two. Uh, so I decided to switch off XSplit Gamecaster. And when I did that, lo and behold, the spacebar would work uh, in the chat like that. As you can see the cursor moving at the bottom of the screen. So I thought, well, that's fine. That solved that problem. I realized there's a problem with Gamecaster running and the fact that uh, the chat, uh, sorry, the space bar wouldn't work in the chat. So I went on to XSplit uh, customer support. I spoke to a guy called Salvador last night, late on. Well, it was late on my time. It was probably about 7 o'clock his time in the States. And I gave him an MS Info f uh, file to him to have a, a diagnostics on my PC and, and check this and that and the next thing and uh, he disappeared last night and I went to bed and I never heard anything more from him. I went to support this morning and had a look at what he told me to do and of course guess what he said try installing the older version of uh, XSplit and I thought well that's a good idea why didn't I think of that myself so uninstalled XSplit, uh, reinstalled the old version of it or the, 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 the prior version to the latest version if you know what I mean and lo and behold, everything's fixed. So there's the issue. And I'd been doing my head in for two days about this. But this is also just in case anybody else has an issue with XSplit Gamecaster's latest version, which is 3. Point whatever it is, as of uh, whatever date this is in October 2018. And it's about, what, is it the 19th of October or something like that? I don't know. I'll have a look. But... Um, that is the issue. So anybody having an issue where annotations aren't working or your keyboard's acting weird while you're streaming or while you have XSplit Gamecaster running in the background, go back to the older version of XSplit Gamecaster and see if that solves a problem. It certainly did mine. So my annotations and also my shortcut keys for my annotations, they weren't working at all, but everything's fine and... I can use them again. I'm happy as Larry. <laughs>